What up, YouTube? How are we all? I hope you are doing well. Hope your Monday was good. Um, I'll give you a bit of an update in terms of what happened today. There wasn't too much that happened today. Um, I spoke to one of the team members that was on the Come Up Starter Kit um, who's actually moved to Adelaide and he actually got a job over in Adelaide and he helped out with videographer and editing. Great guy, um, he was actually an international student, um, absolute wizard. Uh, he's actually doing really, really well um, over there. He's actually living the van life. Um, so he's actually just sleeping in a van, living at a caravan park, um, and just does like, um, just travels wherever he wants. Um, and he's loving it, like he's, he's a lot younger than myself. I think he's like early 20s, so he can live that sort of lifestyle. Um, but yeah, man, it's good to catch up with him. And then after that, well, I actually caught up with another mate. Um, so I caught up with the earlier mate who that was via Zoom. And then I actually caught up with a mate that uh, I used to work with uh, quite some time ago. Uh, he is in sales at the moment. And we were having this sort of interesting chat. And he was, you know, he had gone through a period of like... Um, you know, building his career within sales. He's now, he we first met in uh, recruitment sales or recruitment agency, and then he's now moved on uh, and doing software sales, uh, which was interesting. Um, you know, sales, if, if, if you haven't done sales, sales is definitely a hard game, and it, it is more mental than anything. Um, you know, you have to get over those barriers in your mind to succeed within sales because sales is a high contact sport and when I say that it's a high contact sport it's high contact to your your emotional levels because you know you get rejection and rejection is not good for anybody nobody wants to seek out rejection so when you're in a industry where you're constantly being rejected um, you know it plays with your mind and it plays with your emotions and so you have to build a level of tolerance to that to, to push forward. Um, and so my mate was talking about how, you know, he should be doing X amount of diet. And like, let's not get it twisted. He's doing well uh, where he currently is, but he has identified that he can be doing a lot more. Um, and I think that is for a lot of people where they identify that they can be doing a lot more, but there are certain mental barriers that we all put on ourselves. Uh, and I'm one for sure. And, and I think it it's with a lot of people where they put these self-imposed barriers in their mind, which stop them from wanting to achieve what they want to achieve, which is crazy. And I don't know why we do it and I think it's across the board for a lot of people I don't think it's just for a selected number of people I think everybody wants to try and do well everybody wants to try and uh, achieve stuff that they have set out for themselves but sometimes self-sabotage sometimes the mind will say don't do it and, and we were trying to figure out why why do we do this why is it that we allow the mind to get the better of ourselves and you know trying to figure out how to overcome beating the mind when these types of patterns occur which i think that you know it's it's funny because both him and i have identified it but coming to the conclusion of how to overcome it is is the next thing so, you know, if we find it, I'll definitely let you guys know uh, to hopefully help you guys as well. But yeah, look, if you are someone that also feels that you're in that boat, uh, I challenge you to ask why. Why do you think that the mind is so powerful at stopping you from doing what it is that you want to achieve? And why do we allow it knowing that it's there? Like, we know that it's there, but we still allow for it to happen. Um, I don't know what the psychology is behind it, but you know, it was it was a good conversation that we had. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to sort of share that. Um, I'm gonna read that book, and, and I think like even more so after having that conversation with or catching up with him today, that book, the Tribe of Mentors, and and the 
advice that it's going to give. I think hopefully there's some golden nuggets in that uh, and then I'll share that so then we can try and break it down. But yeah, man, other than that, Monday was pretty good. Um, yeah, Monday was pretty good. I've, I've noticed that I'm supposed to be sort of posting on the um, the TV show Instagram, but I've been a bit lazy on that. So I'm going to make sure that I ramp up on that and do that. Um, and I've just been sort of reflecting week by week just to make sure, am I progressively getting better week by week uh, in what I've said? And, you know, I'm hoping that it is a yes. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, man, I'll see you guys soon and uh, we'll go from there.